Hey guys, we are starting in three minutes, okay? So get ready. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be fun. Um, just let me know that you're here, okay? Uh, yeah, make sure you have a chair and some free weights, but I'll remind you of that again, okay? And some music and water. Hi, Cass. Yay! See, we are here. And I've got my two workout assistants. I'm hoping I had a nice picture of size bum in the dynamic warm up yesterday, so that was awesome. Posted that. It was good. So make sure you got some music, okay? <laughs> it's just Cass now. It's just me and Cass. Julian, here he comes. See? Look, he's like, what's going on? Who's this? Look in here. Who's this? Say hi to all the people. Say hi. Wave. Wave. All right. Oh, here comes the other one. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, MP. I want to know if everybody does these workouts or they just watch. I'm sure there's a couple. Not my people. My people are in it. Hi, Leanne. Hey, Jen. Welcome. All right, just over a minute. Hey, Heather. Yay. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Jen. Yes, girl, you are doing it. Danny. Hi, Danny. You guys are awesome. I always love seeing this. I'm telling you, I'm missing BBD so much. Tracy posted a pic last night because she was there, and I was like, mm, I miss my people. You guys are my, hey, Christy, Kathy, hey. Uh, you guys are my lifeline, I tell you. You guys inspire me to keep going. So thank you for joining me because it's you guys that are pushing me to do it. And by the way, my workout on Monday it was Monday, right? We've lost track of the days. i got to move this caboose. Um, I didn't even do half the workout, probably, that you guys did. And I was sore. So, uh, And you got to listen to my voice. So I, uh, I'm fighting something. It's not COVID, I promise. Uh, I've got the sniffles and a bit of a tickle in my throat. But we're going to power through. Okay. Hey, Jen. Hey, Heather. I miss you, too. Hey, April. Awesome. Okay, let's see what time it is because we are going to roll. It is 8.30. So make sure that you have your uh, chair, okay? So a chair that you can step up and down onto. Um, also have some free weights if you want. You don't need them. It's not necessary. Um, this is the gong show that I deal with daily. Uh, make sure that you have water close by, okay? Um, we're going to try and power through this and get through it in 45 minutes. Uh, first off, I want to make sure that you stay safe, okay? So if anything doesn't feel right other than, uh, say, muscle fatigue, which you are going to feel, um, just make sure that you stop and modify the movement or just wait and move on to the next exercise with us. Uh, so music, you can have a yoga mat or a towel. Um, yeah, and I'm proud of you guys. Okay, so crank your music and let's get going. So we're going to take you through a dynamic warm-up first. And the first thing, I can't believe you see this. I'm gonna have to lock them out, okay? First thing I want you to do is just a weight shuffle, okay? Or a weight transfer. You guys, beat it, beat it, go. <laughs> Seriously, no, move it. Oh my gosh, it's getting crazy in here. Okay, go, go. Okay, ready? Here we go, so you're gonna just do a weight transfer, okay, back and forth, just to slowly get that uh, heart rate up. And if you don't want to do, you don't have to jump anything that we're doing today, okay? Not necessary, all right? So you can just go back and forth or do a weight transfer like so. Keep your core tight. I can hear the water in my belly jiggling. <laughs> Hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to try and speak a little bit louder, okay? But I want you guys having that music going to keep that motivation up nice and high, okay? Good, and then I want you to plant those feet, hands behind your head, feet are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna go into a good morning, okay? And squeeze the glutes, pushing the hips forwards, feeling the stretch at the back of the legs, keep the chest elevated and lifted. You guys know this one, if you train with me. 
So squeeze those glutes. I just heard a little getting the kinks out, a little pop crack. Okay. Feel that stretch to the back of the legs. Keeping the core engaged. Drive through the heels. Squeezing those glutes as hard as you can. And you should start to feel some warmth in the back of the legs. Okay, give me two more. And last one. Good, and I'm gonna get you to go into a reverse lunge now, just one leg, and you're gonna tap it in. So you're gonna go down, and then just tap the foot in. Okay, so back, dropping the back knee, and tap. If you have any knee issues, what you can do is not bend the knee quite as much, much and lean forwards a little bit more. Okay, but otherwise, drop that back knee right down, and tap it in. Deep breaths in and out. Give me two more. Good, and you can stay right where you are and change legs. Okay, so back and tap it in. So just warming up here. Okay, we want to go slow and gradual. Increasing that heart rate. Nice and easy. Driving through the heel of the foot. If you're just joining us, make sure that you have water, a chair, and some free weights if you need them, okay? You don't need them. Okay, give me one more. Good. Now we're going to do a standing rotation. So arms out in front. You're going to twist and turn the torso, lifting the back heel. Okay, like so. Keep your core nice and tight. Okay, you don't want to force the movements ever. Keep it nice and controlled. And some of these movements, what you want to do in your warm-up, is similar movements that you're going to be doing through your workout. Okay, give me one more each side. Good. Okay, we're going to plant those feet nice and wide. So we're going to do a sumo squat, okay? So what I want you to do, depending on how flexible your hips are, uh, you might have to bring your feet in a little bit more narrow, or you can go wide. We want you to go nice and low, okay? So toes slightly turned out, drive your bum backwards. This is one of the exercises we're going to be doing today. Okay, so drive your rear end back, drive through the heels, and squeeze. Keep that core tight. I'll show you from the side. So it's not a plie, you want to hinge forward from your hips, okay, and then drive through the heels and squeeze. Keep going. I want you just to make sure you're taking those deep breaths in and out. I want you to squeeze those glutes. Okay, you can feel a little bit of a stretch through the glutes and hammies at the bottom and then squeezing up. Okay, give me two more. Good, and last one. Good, I'm going to get you to lower it onto your knees and we're just going to go do some kneeling push-ups, okay? So hands planted, core tight. Make sure that your chest is in line with your hands as you lower, okay? So core engaged, just nice and controlled. Again, slow movements can be far more effective than going super, super quick and using momentum. Okay, so keep going down and up. Keep it up, I just wanna make sure we're all good. Hey guys, you guys are doing great, okay? Okay, keep going, so push up down and up. Down and up. Give me one more. Good. Now plant those hands. Come into a quadruped position. Okay, we're just going to do a bird dog. So make sure you have some room here. Opposite arm and leg. Reaching out. And this is the last exercise in your warm-up. So I want you to squeeze that core. And make sure that you're keeping the um, arm, like reach out with your arm and leg. As if someone's pulling on it. In the opposite direction and watch those hips start shifting up and down okay so reach and reach okay give me two more so one on the right and one on the left good i'm gonna get you to come up we're gonna get your heart rate up just a little bit more before we get into it okay it's into your first circuit so you're gonna give me jumping jacks okay nice and big Okay, core tight, up and down, 
Make sure those knees are soft. I swear, can you hear it? I hope you can hear the water jiggling in my belly. Because I can hear it. I'm on side crying. Okay, give me four more. Three, two, okay? And then I want you to run your knees high, okay? We're gonna go 20 seconds, running your knees high. Ready and go. So up, 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 okay? Pick it up. I'll just pull up my pants. Okay? Go, 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 guys. Come on. Push, get those heart rates up now. We're gonna get into it. Okay, roll, roll, roll. You're almost there. Push, push, push. Good, and stop. So if you have weights, you can grab them now. If you don't, it's all good, okay? We're gonna do 30 second stations. So I want you to grab that chair, pull it in close, okay? One foot is gonna be on, right? If you have free weights, hold them. Just watching first. Gonna drive through the heel of your foot. Keep your chest lifted and squeeze your glute on the back leg, okay? So drive through the heel, go slow and controlled. Okay, up and down. You ready? And go, okay? So if you have weights, hold them. Press, squeeze. Core tight, I want you to keep it controlled. Okay, if your balance is off, you can drop one weight and just hold on to the back of the chair as you're stepping up. Or if you don't have weights, hold on to the back of the chair with both hands, okay? Carefully don't lean forward at the top. Really squeeze. Okay, and give me one more. Good, and changing legs. All set, and drive through the heel of your foot, and squeeze. Okay, I want to see you lift that back leg, so you're getting glute engagement there. Squeeze, control, don't jump up the movement. Keep going. Push through the heel and squeeze. Almost there. And you might find your balance is really jeopardized. That's okay. Your second set should be a little bit better. Just try your best. Awesome. Good. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is put those weights down if you have them. You're gonna grab onto the chair, okay? We're gonna do hop overs, so side to side. So what it's gonna look like is, okay, don't knock your head off the chair. <laughs> I didn't, but it's something that I would do. Okay, so we're gonna go 30 seconds. The higher you pick your feet up, the better. Keep your core super tight. Pretend like you're jumping over something really high. Ready, and go. 30 seconds, up and over, okay? I'm losing my pants. Keep going. Doesn't matter for you guys if your pants drop. I've only got a few people watching. Good. Up and over. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. You're almost there. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. And stop. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is a push up on the chair, but it's a little different. And I like this one. So, you're going to put one hand in the corner of your chair. You can either do a full push-up or be on your knees. I'll show you both examples. Okay, so you can be here like so. You're going to do a lower, bend the elbow slightly. Then try and straighten the elbow that's on the chair. Okay, if your knees are up, it's really challenging, okay? So do as many as you can like that. Or you're here, and you're pushing. And we're going to go 30 seconds, and then we're going to switch sides. Okay? Ready? And begin, okay? So if knees are up, make sure you guys are keeping that core engaged. Push as hard as you can. Don't let those hips shift, okay? And push into that hand that's on that chair as hard as you can, okay? I find this one super tough, okay? So if you're finding it tough, you're probably doing it right. If anything's easy, you're probably not doing it right, okay? Keep going. Five more seconds in four, Three, two, one. Good. Stop. I want you to change sides, okay? So you can either come to the same corner and just move back a little bit or just change to the other side of the chair. 
Okay, same thing, this side, ready, and go. So pressing up, keep that core tight. And if you're on your knees, do the same thing. Really think about pressing into the hand on the chair. This should be hard, so do your best. And really keep that core engaged, hard as you can. So brace the core, five seconds. Four, three, two, and stop. We are going back to the top, so if you have weights, grab them. We're gonna do those step ups again, okay? Plant that foot, chest up nice and tall. Engage the core, drive through the heel of your foot. Ready, and go. And lift that back leg. Controlled, lift and squeeze. Squeeze. Really think about driving the heel down into the step. Okay, nice and slow. We don't want to use momentum here. Deep breaths, in and out. Okay, give me one more. Awesome, good, and shake it out. Change legs, ready, and go. Drive to the heel, lift that back leg so you're getting more glute work on the back leg. Drive through the heel of the front foot. You guys are doing awesome, hang in there. Keep going, 10 more seconds, squeeze. Pull that belly button in, almost there. And give me one more. Good, okay, right away. Put those weights down if you have them. Hands down, and we're gonna do those hop overs. So if you want, if you find jumping is too much, you can hop over one leg at a time. Ready, and go. But otherwise, you guys are picking those feet up high as you can. Try and kick that bum. Keep your core super, super tight, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Danny, let's go. You guys got this. Hi, Kate. Hey, Heather. Okay, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got five seconds. Pick it up, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good work, we're going into those push-ups again. Let's start with the side that you left off with. So the side you did second, we're gonna do first, okay? Ready, 30 seconds. What you can do too is start with the tough option and regress to the easier option. We'll go the other way around, okay? Here we go. So core tight, hips are stable. Think about having a glass of water on your tailbone and you don't want to spill it. One would probably be more crucial at this point. Keep going, press. 10 seconds. Almost there. Good, and stop. Change sides. Does anybody else find those hard? Just me? Okay, ready? Here we go. Other side, and press. Make sure you're pressing this arm straight, but don't lock out the joint. Keep it controlled. Five. Keep going, keep going. Press and squeeze. Core tight, don't let the hips shift. Almost there. Five seconds, keep going. It's so hard. <laughs> oh, because your chair is too tall. Yeah, that can make it more challenging. And stop. Awesome, guys. Okay, we're gonna grab, go one more time through. Then I'll get you to take a little step, and then we're gonna start your second circuit. Grab those weights if you have it. Okay, leg up. Ready, and go. Lift. So by this time, you should keep going. You should really feel like you know the form. So really focus on mind-muscle connection. Driving through the heel, squeezing your glutes. Lifting the leg without hinging forwards. Okay, and really feeling a squeeze in the, in the glutes of the leg that's lifting behind you. Keep going, up, press and squeeze. 
Almost there. Last one. Good. And switch. And press. Glad you guys can't smell what my dogs are doing right now. It's making it hard to inhale. So keep going. I'm sure some of you have that problem as well. Good. Lift and squeeze. Drive to the heel. Extending that leg behind you. Squeezing the glutes. Give me one more. Good. And hands, put the weights down. Hands down on this on the bench or on the chair. Ready? We're gonna do those hop overs. Do your last set of these guys and go. Kick that bum. Keep your core tight. Try to keep your shoulders stacked above your wrists. Okay? Up, up, up. Higher, the better. More calories burned, okay? Hop over, hop over. Squeeze tight through your core. 10 seconds. Go. In three, two, and one. Back into those push ups. I'm not going to wear these pants to do workouts anymore. Here we go. Drop down. Choose the option that works best for you. Make sure it's challenging though, okay? While keeping your form. Here we go. Down press. Keep your core tight. Hips are level. Keep going. You should feel that burn, okay? Through the chest of the arm that's on the chair. Almost there. One more. Good job. Okay, change sides. Here we go. And begin. Core tight, knees up. If you want harder, knees down. If you want a little bit easier. Okay, but make sure by the end, you probably can't do one or two more reps while keeping good form. But form is key. Controlled, okay? Keep going. Five seconds. Good, and stop. Good, killed that for a circuit. Grab a quick step. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to your next one. Remember those sumo squats from the first, uh, from the warm up? We're gonna do those next. So the first circuit will be me kind of demoing, okay? And then the next one, we're just gonna, second and third round, we're gonna power through, okay? So what I want you to do is go into that sumo squat stance, okay? Toes slightly turned out nice and wide. Driving the bum back. So we're gonna count down, some of you guys know this one, from 10 to one. So 10 pulses in the sumo squat position, and then hop or stand, your choice, if you don't want to hop, you don't have to. Then we're going to drop down to nine, eight, seven, six, all the way to one. Okay? Here we go. I don't need my clock for this one. So, if I get ahead of you, no worries. Go at your own pace. Okay? And dropping for ten. Nine, eight. Drive into your heels. Six, five, four, three. Drive your knees out and drive to the heels and squeeze or hop. Now, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now eight, seven. Drive that bum back. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hop or uh, just stand. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand. I hope I didn't miss one there. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Hop or jump. Or just stand three and two and one big squeeze did you guys feel that okay so hands down on the chair make sure it's not going to move anywhere we're going to do 30 seconds of alternating lunge jumps so hands down 
What you're going to do is bring this foot close to the bench or to the chair. Drive through the heel of your foot. Okay, core is tight. Hands are just there for stability, okay? Just to mix up the exercise a little bit. Don't use it as a crutch, okay? We're not trying to collapse. Keep your core nice and strong, okay? Ready? Drop into a lunge and begin. Hop and switch. Control. Drive through the heel of the foot. Make sure that heel of the front leg stays down on the floor, okay? Keep going. How we doing? Push through. <laughs> Good. I'm not the only one whose pants are falling down. Awesome. Keep going. Keep going. That's the joy of doing it in your own home, right? Keep going. You're almost there. Good. And last one. Good. So that's a nice little superset there for those legs. Okay. Next one is for your back and your shoulders. Okay, so if you have light weights, you can use them now, but not necessary. So what I want you to do is hinge forward from your waist. We're gonna do four different letters with your arms. So keeping your core tight, bum is driving back. You're gonna do a Y and squeeze. You're gonna do a T and squeeze. You're gonna do a W and then you're gonna do an L. You should feel this all through the back, okay? Really focus on squeezing, all right? Here we go, we're gonna do 45 seconds of these. If you have weights, grab them, okay? If you don't, or if you have them and it gets too tough, set them down halfway through. Okay, 45 seconds, ready? So Y, arms straight to the side, T, make a W, so hands are across from the shoulders, and then make an L. And again, Y, T, squeeze the back of the shoulders, W, L. Again, Y, T, W, L, Y, T, W, L, keep the core tight, Y, T, W, L, Y, T, W, L, give me one more, Y, T, W, L. Good. Okay, we're going back to the first one, which was our sumo drop set, okay? So plant those feet, hop or just stand in between each one, okay? Ten to one. Here we go, and begin, go. Ten, pulse. There goes my dog. Five, four, three, two, and hop or stand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Hop or stand. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand, hinging forwards. Drive that bum back. Did I miss that eight? I'm horrible. We're gonna do seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And five, core tight. Drive those feet into the floor, and four, three, two, one, squeeze, and three, good, almost there, two, push, squeeze, one, awesome, good, shake it out. Hands onto the chair, okay, we're just going to do 30 seconds, okay, alternating those feet, ready, and go, jump, switch. Okay, I want to try and power through this. Okay, keep going. All right, you guys are doing awesome. Okay, hey Nancy. Hey Dan, Karen. Kiri. Hi, hi Josiane. Courtney, nice to see you guys. Keep going, okay? You're doing great. Give me 10 more seconds. Push, switch. Push, switch. Uh, front foot, make sure that heel is down. You're almost there. Good, and stop. Awesome, going into that Y, T, W, L. Ready, 45 seconds. Core tight, if you have light weights, grab them and go. Y, T, W, L. Y, T, W, L. Make sure it's slow and controlled. So you're really working the muscle groups, okay, and not using momentum. 
So control and lift, really press those arms back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze. Y, T, W, keep that core tight. L, Y, T, W, L. Give me one more. Y, T, W, L. Good, We're going one more time through that, guys. Okay, that was a quick one, right? Play at those feet. <coughs> Sorry. Ready? Going 10 to 1 with those sumos. And begin. Drive down. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand. Don't even know why I have this. 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push through the heels. And 8, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 7. Five, four, three, two, one, and six. Core tight, sit back and stand. And five, four, three, and stand. And four, three, two, one, and three, and two, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and one. Awesome. Hands down. Let's do a quick switch. We want to get through all this, okay? Hands down. Lunge jumps, core tight, ready, and go, okay? Jump switch. Don't use the step or the chair too much. If the jumping is too much, you can just easily, okay? Is just not hop it, step in, but if you can hop it, by all means, go for it, okay? More calories burn. Drop that back knee right down, you're almost there. Good. Give me one more. Good. And stop. Okay. Last one of YWTL or YL, YTWL. Alphabet. Here we go. Ready? Hinge forwards and go. Squeeze Y. Squeeze shoulder blades. T. W. L. Again. Y. T. W. L. Y. T, W, L. Keep that core tight. Back is flat. Keep going. My little is just waking up. It must be nice. Good. Give me one more. Y, T, W, Oh, good. Stop. Okay, guys, I want you to grab a sip of water. And we're going to move into your third circuit. Which we're going to power through. Okay? So we're going to incorporate um, dips, bridges, and an ab finisher. Okay? So, I want you to, everybody's going to like this. Just sit down on your chair. Not for long. Okay? So you have a couple options here to make it more challenging, okay? Or less challenging. So what I want you to do is plant yourself here. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple op options. For anybody that has any shoulder issues, don't do this one. And all you're gonna do is hold your squat and pulse those hands together like so, squeezing your triceps. For those of you that don't have any shoulder issues, you can do here, keep your back close to the step or the bench, the chair, core tight. So you're gonna dip. Okay, if you want more of a challenge, you're gonna extend those legs out further. Really keep that core tight. Okay, ready? So dip and tap, ready and go. So dip and watch that transfer of weight. Okay, so that transfer of weight needs to be slow and controlled. Keep your core tight. Elbows are driving straight back. Okay, you should really feel this burn in your triceps. Okay, keep going. I'm just gonna move this back a little bit. Keep it up so that you guys can see the next exercise. Keep going. Woo. You're almost there. Okay, and stop. Okay, 
I'm actually going to throw in a single leg squat here, okay? So standing up, you can use both legs, okay, like that, or you're going to do a single leg. Here, driving your bum back, and then tapping your rear end down. Don't drop and sit, okay? Driving through the heel and squeezing. If balance is jeopardized, you're going to just tap the heel or the toe to the floor, okay? We're going to do 30 seconds per leg. Ready? And go. So back, drive through the heel and squeeze. Back, very light tap. You're not fully sitting, okay? So that all your weight is staying loaded over that leg. Sit back on the heel. Drive through and squeeze. If you want, you can even hold weights here, okay? Very light, down and squeeze. You're almost there. Hi. I'm getting the look. Good, stop, switch legs. Okay, here, and sit back. Okay, hold the foot up. If you want more of a challenge, balance is off today. Okay, if you want even a greater challenge, you can hold weights, very light tap, drive through the heel of your foot, and squeeze forward. Okay, or you can just do squats. Nice and slow and controlled squats are super effective. Okay, keep going. I want you to remember which leg you left off with here. Good, and stop. So the leg that's working here, you're going to lay on your back is going to be in the air, okay? So you're going to be like this, laying on your back. So the leg that was just squatting is going to be in the air. You're, that's a tough one, okay? It's an intermediate. If you want, you can do both legs, okay? So you're here. We're going to be driving your hips up, okay? So keeping that same leg, let's do a demo with this leg. Drive down with your heel, drive your hips up to the sky. Can you see me? Yeah? Okay, ready? We're gonna go 30 seconds per leg, or you can do both legs for a full minute. Do not force the movement, keep it controlled. Ready? And go. So up, control, down. So you should really feel this through your glutes and hamstrings, okay? Try to really open up those hips at the top. If you're good, continuing with both legs, same idea, drive equally both into um, both heels, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can, okay, and if you're doing one leg only, I'm going to get you to switch now, okay, so one leg down, up, squeeze, <laughs> keep going, Drive those hips up. Watch you're not swinging yourself up with the leg that's in the air. Okay, guys, you got 10 more seconds to try and push through this. Get those hips up. The more you open up your hips, you want to try and finish with your knees, hips, and shoulders in one line. Good, and stop. You just push, we're going to do a little bit of an ab finisher. Okay, so um, what I want you to do is just push your chair to the side or angle your body. Okay, you got a couple options here. We're going to superset this ab exercise. Okay, making sure you can see me. Okay, so we're going to do core tight. Make sure that your belly button is pressed into your spine. Spine is pressed into the floor. If you want to support your low back, you can do it this way. But make sure that you're only lowering your legs as low um, as your back stays pressed into the floor. If you start to arch your back, don't lower your legs any lower. You can also bend your knees slightly as a modification, okay? For those of you that want more of a challenge, lift your head up, okay? We're going to do it this way. But like I said, make sure that back stays pressed in. As soon as we're done a set of those, we're going to go into toe reaches. Right away, no rest, okay? So we're going to do 30 seconds of each. Ready? And go. So advanced option is head up, like so, driving that belly button into your spine, make sure your chin is away from your chest so you're not cranking on the head, okay? Keep the chest up and open, okay? If that's too challenging, rest the head down, okay? And you can also support your low back by having your hands just around your tailbone. Really make sure about 
racing that core. You're almost there on this one. Keep those legs up, arms reach out in front. You can also bend your knees, okay? And we're gonna reach. Set that belly button in, okay? Keep going, 30 seconds. Reach to the sky, okay? Really suck in, tighten up. Think ribs contracting in towards your hips, okay? Pull the belly button in. Keep going, got 10 more seconds. Abs should be a little bit burny. Okay, reach. Hold it up. Reach a little higher. And down. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to get you to fully sit up. I want you to come back onto that chair, back into those dips, or the pulses for the triceps. Okay, ready? So you've got to get into position. You're either here, or your feet are a little bit more extended out. Back stays close to the be uh, to the chair. Keep on saying bench because I feel like I'm in the studio. Okay, ready? And alternating toe taps. Here we go. So you're gonna go down, press, squeeze. So you might find your balance is a bit off. So really squeeze the core. Go slow on that weight transfer. Down, press into the hands to make it super effective on those triceps. Okay, you can always make this harder, you can always make it easier. Okay, keep going, keep going, you're almost there. Good, and stop. Okay, standing up, I want you to do that single leg squat. So plant the foot, foot is up, you can hold your weights if you like. Ready, and sitting it back. Okay, light top, and go. Back onto that heel, and squeeze forwards. So we're going to go 30 seconds per leg. Like I said, you can, if your balance is a little bit rough and shaky, tap your toe or your heel down. Just don't put too much weight on it. Okay, keep going. But make sure you're sitting back and not going straight down. Core tight, keep going. And if you're doing both legs, then just continue on. If you're doing a single leg, switch now. Okay, nice and light on the top. Driving back with the rear end, then driving forward. Okay, core tight. Really give it a good ugly squeeze. Okay, squeeze, 10 more seconds. Good, and stop. So remember which leg you did last. That leg's gonna go in the air. If you're doing single leg, okay? So laying on your back, we're gonna go in to the, either the single leg elevated bridge, okay? Or you can do both legs for a full minute, okay? So here we go. And begin, so up, and again, that leg that's elevated, if you're doing a single leg, just make sure it's not doing <laughs> this, okay? Keep it controlled so you're actually using the muscle group that you're working. Kind of pointless just to be flying through it, okay? So really engage that core before you start any exercise. Drive up, mind-muscle connection. Squeeze hard at the top, okay? And switch legs. Or you're gonna keep going and begin, okay? Get that big hip opener at the top. Give the glutes a super good squeeze. Okay, keep the movement slow and controlled. Okay, idea is to really squeeze the muscle at the top of the contraction. Okay, keep going. You're almost there. I hope you guys are sweating. Good, and stop. You can push the chair to the side. Okay, we're gonna do those abs. I want you to go into it right away, okay? So, straight leg raise or modify, making sure your back is pressed in to the mat or the floor, okay? If it starts to pull up, then don't go any lower, okay? So keeping that motion. You can keep your head down if you need to, okay? Lots of options for you to make the workout work for you, okay? This is about no one else but you.
Okay, legs up, ready, and reach for those toes. And go up. Keep it controlled. Pull the belly button in first. Tighten. Think ribs to hips, spine to floor. Keep going. You got 10 seconds left. Reach. Good, I want you to hold it up, go up a little higher, and a little bit more, and down. Okay guys, I might take you just a few minutes over for stretches, so I'm going to get you to go through one more circuit, okay? So rock yourself up, give yourself a second, let the blood get distributed through the rest of the body for a second, if you still feel dizzy, take a couple more seconds, okay? So we're going to go back into those di uh, dips first, okay, ready, so standing up. Here we go. And dip and tap. Ready? And go. So you're doing dip, elbows going straight back, and tap. Make sure it's controlled. You'll probably find on this third set, you're like, wow, I've got the balance now. Look at that. Practice makes perfect. Good work, guys. Okay? So keep it controlled, taking those legs further out if you want more of a challenge. Okay? And if you're finding that's too much on your shoulders, you're going to hold a little squat and do those pulses, really focusing on those triceps. Good, and stop. Okay, and we're going to go into that single leg squat. Ready? So tap that heel and go. We're not wasting any time. I want to get you guys through this. You guys are awesome. Powering through. Light tap, squeeze, thrust forwards. If you're doing both legs, just really focus on your form. Okay, nice and slow and controlled, squeeze, core tight. Okay, 10 more seconds if you're doing a single leg. Sitting back. Good, and if you've done uh, both legs, keep going. Otherwise, switch legs and continue. Okay, keep it up. I gotta grab a sip. My throat is dry. Keep it up, sit back onto that heel. Keep going, 15 more seconds. Sit back, light tap. You're almost there, guys. After this, you got the two exercises left, and then we'll give you a stretch. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, and stop. Okay, foot that was on the ground, goes in the air, if you're doing single leg, okay? Let's roll, ready? And go. If you're doing both legs, we're going full minute. Nice and controlled, and squeeze hard as you can. Good work, guys. Okay, keep really keeping that mind-body connection, opening up those hips at the top. Really drive those heels down into the chair, and just watch that you're not swinging the body up and down. Keep going. Switch legs if you um, are doing single leg, okay? Otherwise, I want you to keep going. <coughs> Good, big squeeze. You're almost there. Then we just got abs left. Then we're gonna stretch. Almost there, keep it up. Give me two more. Last one, and moving into abs. Here we go, hands behind your head, head elevated, or your head is down, supporting the low back. And go, making sure that back stays pressed in. Deep breaths in and out. Chin away from your chest. Keep it controlled. No arching of the back. Okay, and again, you can modify it, okay? Whatever works for you. Make sure it's challenging, but safety first. Almost there. Legs straight up. And go. Reach for those toes. 30 seconds. This is it, guys. Okay? And then we're going to stretch you. So keep going. Reach and reach. Pull that belly button in. Think ribs squeezing towards your hips. <clears throat> 
almost there. Push through it. You got 10 more seconds, then we're going to hold it. You can even keep one hand behind your head if you have to, if the neck gets tired. Hold it up. Hold it up higher. And go a little higher. A little higher. And hold. Push. And down. You guys are awesome. Relax. Okay? So, you guys killed it. I'm sure you worked super hard. Okay? I want you just to relax. Take your arms out to the side. And all you're going to do is deep breaths in and out. We're just going to drop those knees side to side. Nice and easy. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining me. Okay, you're going to take one leg across your opposite knee. Okay, and I want you to go into a figure four position. Okay, and then what you can do is see that free foot? You're going to just circle it. Okay? This isn't the ideal angle. My apologies. <laughs> okay, and circle the other way too. Make sure that knee is pressing into the side. I want you to point the toe up to the sky and then flex your foot. And again, all the while taking some deep breaths in and out. Okay, hug both knees to your chest. Okay, then cross the opposite. Okay, so knees out to the side. Did I just do that leg? I just did that leg, didn't I? <laughs> you guys know which leg you did? Well, you're better off than me then. Okay, circle that foot both directions, point the toe up to the sky, and then flex. Good, hug both knees into your chest. Nice work, I'm gonna get you to flip over onto your bellies, and you're gonna go into a baby cobra, okay? So here, core tight, or you can go into a cobra up, just make sure that there's no discomfort in your low back, okay? If there is, I want you to come back down, but also if you squeeze your glutes before you press into it, you might find that you don't have any discomfort, okay? So your option, your choice. Deep breaths in and out, shoulders press down, and lower yourself down. And quad stretch, so draw, draw one foot up behind your back. Okay, knees are tight together. If you can't grab your foot, that's okay. You can grab the back of your tights, okay? Or just draw it in as close as you can or the back of your shoe. Whatever you can manage. If you want a deeper stretch, push your foot into your hand, okay? Otherwise, you can just draw that heel in nice and close. And taking again, deep breaths in and out. And then I'm gonna get a switch. Okay, so other foot. Good, and release. And I'm going to get to come up, hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to press yourself up into a quadruped position. So off onto all fours. Okay, and then what I want you to do is tuck those toes under and go into downward facing dog. Okay, so pressing that chest. You can pedal out those feet. <clears throat> okay, press both heels towards the floor, chest towards your thighs. Come down onto your knees. Sit back into child's pose. I want you to flip your hands up to the sky so palms are facing up. And then tap your shoulder blades here. Okay, so that you're going to feel a stretch through your triceps. And you'll feel more of a stretch if you push your elbows into the floor. Okay, so here. And just press. Deep breaths in and out. Good, and release. Roll up, take your hands down low behind you, let me fix myself there, okay, and slight lift behind you, nice chest opener, deep breaths in and out, drop your chin, push your arms forwards, nice stretch across that upper back, open your arms, finally, I want you just to give yourselves a big hug, okay? Super proud of you guys. Make your health a priority during these challenging times. We're here for you, okay? We really miss you. We're cheering for you. Reach out with any support that you need, okay? We're here. Proud of you guys. Hang in there.